do you need to implement drag and drop functionality? Try Swapy. Swapy is a simple, simple to use framework agnostic library. You can use it with any framework or library you want. For example, it might be React, Vue, Svelte, Angular, Solid or any other library. This tool is simple to use and can convert any layout into a drag to swap element. Let's check uh, how to install it. You need, you can use uh, npm or you can use CDN. In case you can use CDN, uh, as you understand, you can uh, use this library with uh, vanilla jazz. What do you need to know to use this library? First of all, you need create a slot with data at attribute. It's data swap slot and some ID. And then you need item with and it's created with data swap item and some ID. And that's it. Now you can swap or drag any items between these slots. So after creation markup, everything what you need is a create swap container and a pass element. In our case, it's a selector with class name contain, 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 and you can also configure animation. But it's optional parameter, and uh, then you can listen event. The main and the one event you need to check is on swap. When you drag some elements and uh, drop it, this event is called. That's it. So you can check also React example. Let's open it. Pretty simple example. I already downloaded it and run it. When you will run this example, you will see these slots and items. You have C, D and you have A. Also for A you have element handle. It's a special element you can use. So all the card isn't draggable, but this section handle is draggable. Okay, what do we have? We have three items A, C, D with data swap item A, C and D. Uh, also for A we have data swap handle. It's a special element as I mentioned before. And then in use effect everything what you need is select uh, container. In our case it's container 2. I, I didn't use container because of in the next example I use uh, tailwind and the container is reserved um, class name. Also, we need create swapy. Create swapy is imported from swapy, and that's it. Then you can use on swap event and check what was changed. Let's open inspect console, and uh, when you have drag event, you see you have array, map, or object. Let's check map. In map, you have slot and the element you moved. Pretty clear. Here we have markup, we have slot 1, 2, 3, 4, and we have three slots. Okay, uh, let's check uh, how it was implemented with the Next.js. I have another example, it's my uh, Next.js application. Next.js, and uh, we have component lectures. We receive array of lectures, and uh, then what we have. We need to use on order at least, then we have items, the item, and for every the item we add the data swapy slot with lecture order. From the styles, as you see, it's tailwind, we have only the background gray and border solid. Inside we have a div with data swapy item, is ID of the lecture, and as well some UI. That's it. The next one we have use effect without dependency. When we query selector, when we use query selector lectures, we create swapping container and on swap event we call a server action call on swap. Call on swap it's a debounced function from on reorder. I need the debounce function because this event is called for every move, as you see. But in my case, I need when it was finished. I mean drop. And let's check the result. I have the page and I have items, it's lectures. And now I can easily move it and it works super simple, super, super fast. 
you can try this library pretty easy for using. I spent only five minutes to implement it. Also, what I wanted to mention, let me show example React. And uh, in Swapy, let's check the source index.ts and uh, not this one, instance. We have events and the methods. We have method enable. So you can enable or disable drag and drop functionality for your component. Pretty useful method. So try it. In case you have any questions, leave the comment under the video. Thank you for watching.